right from distributing data across the world to moving astronomical data into planetaria around the world. Our next talk is Venestuniano uh, Aguilar talking about a tool to explore astronomical databases and transform data into planetarium formats. Hello, my name is Venustiano Suancat Aguilar, and I will talk about the tool we are de developing at the University of Groningen. This tool can be used to explore astronomical databases and transform data into planetarium formats. I work with uh, Rhys Williams, Adrian Matlener, Edwin Valentine, and Joss Rorling. In Groningen, we have a 3D DOM facility in which master students give shows to the general public. And occasionally, astronomical staff give presentations to the general public as well. In most of these presentations, the latest data releases from virtual observatory are not included. And this is mainly because downloading and transforming the data into planetary formats is a time consuming process. So we can download data by using web portals. So in these web portals, we have to select the tables and the columns that we require and then uh, we have to download it uh, manually. We can download the data in a programmatic way by using application program interfaces, such as AstroQuery, CASJOBS, and PyVO. Uh, we have to create a script for each uh, data set we would like to download. And then once we have our data set, we have to transform the data into appropriate uh, planetary formats. So we have to transform our raw, raw data into X, Y, and Z variables, or color and velocities and radial velocities. So to do this, we have to create a Python script or an R script and this process is a um, time-consuming uh, process. So the main goal of our tool is to make it easy for staff and students to include virtual observatory data in their presentations. We want to exploit the virtual observatory archives because the data is there and we should use it in our presentations. So, in short, we would like to accelerate the process of bringing data into DOM. So our, our tool uh, have, has uh, four main modules. It has the graphical user interface. It has a controller which can connect to the different astronomical catalogs and download the data. Then we have a planetarium format module, which converts the data into spec or binary files. Then we have a module to store the data into a database. And this module or model contains two main entities. The main entity, one of the main entities is the query entity which stores information about the ADQL code used to download data, the number of rows, the runtime, and the, fi the file name in which the data was uh, stored. Then we would like to store information about the conversion process. So we want to store information about the file name, uh, runtime, and uh, variables used to, uh, to transform the data. Then we have created a graphical user interface. And here I, will, I would like to present the running software. So this software uh, allows the user to select different astronomical catalogs. So once the catalog is selected, 
the tables are displayed in this panel, and then we can select the tables and we can select the variables or columns that are in the table. So when we select the variables, this panel is populated with the selected variables and we can remove them if we don't need them by pushing this button. Then we can also add conditions across tables and we can generate the ADQL code more or less automatically. Then uh, this is this is the most important uh, panel because here we have the ADQL code which can be modified by the user and can be submitted. Uh, for this presentation, I will use a previously uh, saved query. And so here I am using a query that uh, downloads data from the Gaia catalog and downloads variables that can be converted into a spec file and the data is uh, stored in this uh, file, in this CSV file via DR3 1K CSV. Then uh, this file can be converted into a spec file by clicking in the convert uh, tab. So to create a spec file, we need a number of variables like X, Y, and Z, color, absolute magnitude, velocities, and speed. So to estimate X, Y, and Z, we need variables like RA, deck, parallax, distance, or redshift. So the software looks for these variables in the CSV file and try to find the best match. So if uh, the variable selected is not correct, then the user can select one from the list of variables that are in the CSV file. So this one in this case was correct. Then once the user has verified that all the variables are correct, then the spec file can be generated and saved it in, 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 in a file. So in this case, I will create Gaia test and then save it. And then we have some details about the file and information about the transformation process. And we can save it. And the results, and we can see the results in this terminal or in the terminal. So the file has been created. And we have created a number of tests and queries and as soon as is presented in this table, we have uh, created uh, or downloaded uh, files from different catalogs like KITS, SDSS, and Gaia. Um, each of these um, downloads contain a number of rows. The smallest one is this one with with uh, 500,000 uh, rows and a file size of uh, 30 uh, megabytes. And the time to download this uh, data is uh, about uh, half a minute. The longest query is a one performed to the SDSS catalog containing about 185 million uh, rows the file size was about 11.5 gigabytes and it took about 16 hours to download the data. Once uh, the data has been downloaded, we have to visualize uh, the data in, in a um, planetary software. This is a pipeline that can be used. So first uh, the CSV file and the spec file uh, have, uh, can be generated using Earth tool. 
then the spec file by itself can be displayed into the open space um, planetarium software or sky scan planetarium software. Uh, however, uh, visualizing spec files uh, is a slow process as compared to visualizing binary or three binary files. So it is recommended to convert and the spec files in these formats. Uh, further information can be found in this link. So we have created some uh, visualizations like uh, this one. This is a screenshot containing about 13 million objects from SDSS. And this is another screenshot from open space containing a section of visualization and here the objects are not further away than or farther away than 1000 uh, parsecs. Then we have uh, some conclusions. Well, we have created a tool that can query different astronomical catalogs without much effort. We can store the history and metadata of the queries. We can transform astronomical data into suitable spec uh, file formats to be used in, in planetarium. Uh, downloading, downloading huge amounts of data can still be time consuming. So we think we are accelerating the process of bringing uh, data into DOM. We have some future work. The first one is to prepare the first release. We would like to support concurrent downloads we would like to improve the robustness of the software and we want to support different input and output file types. And we also want to support or be able to download data from other catalogs such as Euclid and Simbad. And we want to increase the processing speed by using file formats other than CSV files. So this was my presentation. If you have any questions, I will be happy to answer them. Thank you very much. Um, I see some questions coming through in the chat. Um, maybe just a quick one while we wait for those. Um, of course, I imagine you have the capability to load up a spectral cube a data cube in addition to the catalogs that you've been talking about. Uh, sorry, could, could you repeat the question again, please? Because I didn't, I didn't hear uh, correctly. Sure. Uh, of course, I, I imagine in, you, you are able to convert spectral data cubes in addition to just catalogs, catalogs in fits format as you've described. Uh, well, uh, it might be possible, uh, but uh, um, we haven't we haven't tested uh, that. Uh, um, but however, yeah, we would like to download some um, data cubes from Euclid, but we haven't we haven't done uh, that so far. That be, will be very, very good indeed. Um, great, thanks. The ne uh, next question is: There are planetaria planetarium software dealing directly with IVOA uh, HIPS format. Do you consider using this format? as well? Um, yes, we are considering uh, using uh, or supporting different file formats. Uh, for now, we, we just have um, um, worked with spec files, but the binary files and FITS files uh, are, uh, will be in, uh, included as well. But um, not, they, they are not yet in the software. OK, great. All right, Thank I don't see. Any more questions, but uh, we're at the half hour, so thank you very much for your talk.